people are missing today is the youth, unfortunately. They're coming out of college, seeing that visual on TV that's very casual, and they aren't prepared for the workforce. So when they go out there, they're not dressing the part. And so it's hard for them sometimes, I think, even to get a job if they're not dressing the part. It's good to know the industry that you're interviewing for, because what you can dress in the art field is different than you can dress in a financial industry. Exactly. And in fact, I've done a few programs for like the University of Missouri, where I deal with the seniors and try to prepare them. And they're very grateful. They really just don't know. And I think a lot of women who've been home and who are going back out into the work field or maybe women who worked at the Chrysler plant that was, you know, closed down, men and women who are trying to get in a different profession now, they have to dress in a different way. So, you know, when the the potential employer looks at two resumes and they're both outstanding, they both have a lot of work experience, they're both very qualified, and they call both candidates in, who's going to get the job? It's going to be the one who's dressed for the part, who's taking care of their details of their hair and their nails, and, you know, their cell phone is off and put away. Um, the one who comes in, who can give them direct eye contact, who can smile at them, who has energy and confidence, that person is going to totally rule out the one who comes in who's disheveled, who didn't iron their clothes, who, you know, just didn't realize that all those little tiny details make such an important matter.